I'm at Vicarage Road, the home of Watford SC, and in this short documentary, we're going to be talking about the history of the Sir Elton John and Graham Taylor stands. In 1922, Watford Football Club were gaining a higher reputation and were becoming a very respectable third division side. The club had decided it was time to move away from Cassio Road after spending 23 years at the ground. They moved to Vicarage Road ahead of the 1922-23 season and played their first game there on the 30th of August 1922 versus Millwall. When Watford first moved to Vicarage Road, there was only two stands, the main stand and the union stand that they brought with them from Cassio Road. Since then, stands have been built, rebuilt, expanded and renamed and we have these four stands today. The Rookery Stand, the Sir Elton John Stand, the Main Stand and the Graham Taylor Stand. I'm sat in the Sir Elton John Stand that has only recently been built. In 2008, the historic Main Stand had to be taken down for safety reasons and in 2012, Sir Elton John Stand was opened. Two years later, the club used the stand for the first time in a friendly match against Udinese. It was originally meant to be called the Watford Community Stand. However, the chairman decided that it should be named after the long-term pop star chairman, Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John wasn't just financially invested, he was emotionally invested. This is likely why he was so successful with the club, taking them from the 4th division of English football to the top and an FA Cup final during his time at the club. And he did all of this alongside club manager Graham Taylor, who he appointed a year after becoming the chairman. I'm here at Watford FC to interview Richard Walker about the club. Sir Elton John was a Watford supporter from a child. He grew up in uh, Pinner, just down the road in Harrow on the Hill. He wanted a young, vibrant manager that could bring new ideas to Watford. And thanks to the advice of some directors, he steered away from the tried and trusted method of appointing an experienced manager and appointed a young manager just out of the game through injury who was able to bring his vibrancy and also experience of success Graham Taylor was an incredible manager for Watford Football Club, but was he expected to do so well? It was the one and only factor that meant Watford was successful. Elton John ran the club off the field with the help of two or three other um, administration executives and he left Graham Taylor to the football entirely. He'd ask questions, he'd get involved, he was very enthusiastic, he'd come and see the players in the dressing room, but everything to do with the football club, Graham Taylor ran. And the biggest credit to Elton John was he was a man with a lot of money and influence, but he let key people get on with their jobs. Sir Elton John was known as an extremely passionate chairman. He could be seen in the stands, celebrating goals, and join the game just as much as the fans. When Graham Taylor was hired, he was extremely young, but he was still three years older than Sir Elton John. This is an unusual age difference between a manager and chairman. This gave him a more brotherly relationship than a working one, and this seemed like it might not work, but they were extremely successful together. I'm at the Graham Taylor stand that was only named after the club legend in 2014. Before then, it was named after FIFA president Stanley Rue. It was built in 1986 and replaced the Schrodel stand that has been there since the 30s. Taylor had a vision. He wanted Watford FC to become a family club. When Taylor came to the club, he demanded that the Greyhound racing track that had an affiliation with the club was taken away. He wanted this to be a family club. I think he was really keen that football was at the heart of what went on at Vicarage Road and to make that successful it was all about families. So up until that time it really hadn't been the case but he encouraged families to be there. The Junior Hornets setting that up family enclosure, these were all the first time things like that had happened in this country and they're still strong to this day. Uh, it's work that continues on with the Supporters Trust and with the Football Trust. So these are really wonderful things that we still are proud of at Watford. 
I'm at Watford Museum, where there is an exhibit dedicated to the glory years under Elton John and Graham Taylor's management. This shows that not only are they important to the club and their fans, but they're also important to Watford's community and their stands aren't just a bunch of seats, they are landmarks in memory of legends.